Well, let's take you back to the courtroom where the lawmaker representing Aban North and South Federal constituency at the House of Representatives, Alexander Ikwechegi, has pleaded not guilty in the case of criminal intimidation, abuse of power and assault brought against him before the court. The lawmaker was charged to court by the Inspector General of Police at the FCT Magistrate Court in Kuje Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory. Mr. Alex Ikwechegi was granted bill of 500,000 naira with a surety who owns property in Abuja and resides in Abuja. Yeah, just uh, arraignment simpliciter of uh, the honorable member from uh, Abia. Uh, and um, his plea was taken. He pleaded not guilty and um, his bail application was moved and, um, you know, uh, bail was granted. Uh, and conditions were given for the bill, and the matter was adjourned to 8th of November. Well, for more on this, let's bring the force public relations officer, Olumuiwa Adejobi, who joins us on TVC News at 1. It's good to have you join us on the news. Good afternoon. Well, can you provide further details on the alleged assault case involving this lawmaker and uh, the driver of the EA lane cab driver? What's the current status of the investigation? Well, there, there is no different any further investigation about the matter. We have concluded our investigation. We collect that initially uh, the matter was handled by the SCT police department before the IGP instructed that the matter be handed over to the special investigation unit at the force police. And immediately, it's, it's, a, it's a clear case. Cases like this don't need much time to investigate. It's a direct case. Uh, it's even the news uh, evidence everywhere, uh, electronic evidence, everywhere has uh, assisted us in this thing. So we don't need to direct investigation. A matter has been charged to court, and I think the, the court will decide. That's why we have taken the case to court. We can't take decision on our own. Uh, but what I think we should do as Nigerians is to make sure we respect people's dignity, respect our fundamental human rights, and we treat ourselves as brothers and sisters in this country. So for people who have public offices like myself, we need to always control our anger, our temperament, so that we will not be having issues like this. Of course, it's avoidable. It's avoidable. It's quite unfortunate. I know by now uh, we're having many cases. This is not so time. We're having um, similar cases of what the honorable has done. And people always learn from their mistakes. Uh, my boss is said the only thing, the only thing history teaches a man is a man fails to learn from history itself. But I think for us, we should be able to learn from our mistakes and learn from people's mistakes. I know many people have learned from this. Uh, you are a big man, a normal, you are an average man in Nigeria. It's a lesson to all of us. So we want to encourage our people, let us love ourselves and as brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Let us respect people's dignity. Let us respect people's fundamental human rights. And for dropping the name of the IGP is not too good. If people should stop using the name of the Inspector General of Police or any hierarchy of the police to intimidate or harass any Nigerian, we will not take that. And that is not too good. So we have learned lessons on all areas. Even me as a person, I've learned more lessons on some of these things. So yes. it's a lesson to all of us. Yes, the, but the Boat driver at alleged harassment by some of your officers. I don't know if your investigation included some of these allegations and if some of your officers were found culpable and if they would, uh, if they were found guilty, what actions would be taken against them? The Commissioner of Police, FCT, ECP, is handling that aspect. That's another aspect entirely. But I guess the police meant to uh, actually wanted to respect the personality of the honorary. But uh, the command CP of that matter, a good one that. And uh, therefore, the contents has told, as instructed the Commission of Police, it only complete the Nigerians um, as events uh, of fault on this matter. So we will handle that. But generally, the, the matter uh, has gone to court. I don't want to dwell all on that. We have completed our investigations. The, the case has been turned to court. So let me for court to say, we do a follow up on, on those ends. Also, well, some critics will say that um, the police response was a bit delayed and was just prompted by social media attention. 
Uh, how do you respond to these concerns or what's the mode of operation or response to um, issues like this? The, the police, the police reacted on time. Those who are saying the police has not, uh, did not report the reacts to the matter or respond on time. In fact, actually, actually, I was on, on X that night and people talked also on X and even personally, on my personal angle, I, I responded and officially, so I don't know why a alleged husband did not respond on time. That, that is not true. For those who follow us on social media, they know we responded on time. And that's why the Commission of Police personally was involved. The Honorable was um, someone immediately was invited to the office of the Commission of Police. And I have, I have pictures of where uh, the, the, the CP personally engaged the Honorable and granted him bail. So very office. And the following day reported, as he reported, to, to, to the headquarters, uh, command headquarters, they sent him to SIU headquarters here in front of the force headquarters. So we were not we didn't, we didn't delay our response and we have done what we should. Well, let's take you on, on, on another case now where you were talking about um, uh, regional policing and particularly how um, the Inspector General of Police has talked about uh, providing, coming up with a schools protection squad. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Special what? I didn't hear that. Schools Protection Squad. Sorry, I have a problem with the audio here. I was asking you, I don't know if you can still hear me. I was asking about um, uh, what uh, is the latest on regional police. And we've had calls uh, over and over again about how important it is for us to have state police, regional police. And talk to us about what's the latest. Are you still on that track? The, the state police are regional. Well, I, that is a matter, the constitutional matter. The Nigerian police will not do anything against what the Nigerian people want. If today there is a law that we should have uh, state police, so be it. We don't have any choice. The NDP has made it there that we are not against that. But the only thing he said is if at all we want to have the police, we should be able to define what we want and how we're going to operate so that it's not, it's not going to be counterproductive. They don't have fears, and there are so many fears concerning the creation of state police. But if there's a law today, and the position of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has been reduced, after that we must have state police, we don't have any chance. Force Public Relations Officer Olumuyo Adejabi, thank you so much for speaking with us on TVC News.